Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss Power as Filter Gallery by Date. See here, this is my SharePoint online list as order details. Inside this, I have added different columns including the date column. Now I will show you how to filter a Power Apps Gallery by this date column. For that open your power apps with your respective Microsoft credentials and whenever you want to create a blank canvas app just click on the create button. Here select the blank app and go to the blank canvas app then click on the create button here provide the app name. And by default we will get format as tablet then click on the create button. Now you should connect that respect to SharePoint online list for that go to the data section here click on the add data and select the SharePoint. And choose your respective SharePoint online site. And select our list like order details then click on the connect button. Now insert the date picker. and change the date picker name. Now insert the gallery to filter the SharePoint records. And make it as alignment correctly. Now set its item property code. See here I am using filter function to filter the SharePoint online list based on the date picker selected date. Now go to the preview button. Here select the respective date. See here the gallery will filter the each record from a SharePoint list based on the date picker selected date. Next I will show you how to filter a Power Apps gallery by using the drop down date. For that insert another blank screen. Then insert a drop down. And set its item property as. See here I am using the distinct function to retrieve the order date from the SharePoint online list. Now insert a gallery control. And set its item property as. See here this is my SharePoint online list and the gallery will filter the SharePoint online list based on the drop down selected value. Now go to the preview button. Here select the respective date. See the gallery will filter each record from a SharePoint online list based on the drop down selected date. Similarly next I will show you how to filter a Power Apps gallery by date and time. For that go to the SharePoint online list here edit the date and time column. Here select the include time then click on the save button. Now go to the power apps and insert another blank screen then add a gallery control. See here this is my SharePoint online list here I filter the order date less than or equal to today. Then go to the preview button. See these are the SharePoint online list records less than today's date. In the last I will show you how to filter a power apps gallery by date range. See this is my another SharePoint online list as travel request. Inside this I have added different columns with different data types including the two date and time columns like travel start date and travel end date. Now I will show you how to filter a power apps gallery based on the, these two date columns. For that go to the power apps and insert a another blank screen. Now you should insert two date pickers. Then insert a gallery control. Now set its item property as. See here this is my SharePoint online list and I will filter the power apps gallery based on the date range like travel start date and travel end date. 
Now go to the preview button. Here select the start date and end date like. Once you select a respective start date and end date, the gallery will filter the each record from a SharePoint Online list based on the date range. Yes, this is all about how to filter a Power Apps gallery by date. I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more free videos on Power Apps. Thank you.